Honey, you can't cut everybody out of this that loves you and wants to help you. We're, we're all in this together. It's just that I thought when they found Nevins, I could get back to living my life now. But now he might have given me AIDS. Yeah, but Audrey says that the odds are in your favor. Come on. You... Great. I haven't been playing the odds too well lately. I just don't know how I'm going to live my life the next six months, not knowing if this man has given me this disease. Hello. Hi, Daryl. I haven't heard from Franny, no. Uh, no, uh, Margot can't come to the phone right now. Okay, here we go. Fresh, squeezed, not. And concentrate. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to go through this health diet with me. I don't. I figured it's a good time, the election coming up. You know, I was also thinking about maybe getting us a membership to Moscone's gym. I mean, they have babysitting. The kids could go with us. Moscone's gym? Yeah, Moscone's. You know, I, I talked to... Thanks. I talked to Mac, and I told him that I wasn't be coming back to work tomorrow, that I needed an, another week, and he said that's fine. Good, that's good. Did you tell him why? It's probably John. Hello. Hi, Scott. Uh, really, that's kind of quick. What, business for Lucinda? Yeah, we're expecting a call from John. I will. Bye. Thanks for covering for me. I just don't want anyone else to know. I just, I think it's going to be hard enough for us to get through the next six months. I don't want the rest of our loved ones to have to go through it, too. We will handle this the way that you best see fit. John, I would have called you right away, but, um... Yeah, Audrey's pretty much told us we've got Margot on a very strict regimen and we're going to get her immune system really, really strong and in shape. He wants to talk to you. He loves you, honey. Oh, yeah, my father, the doctor, and you're not even in town when I need you most. Oh, John. No, 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 no. I, I know that it, you and Bob were the ones who told Tom that he should get Nevin's tested as soon as possible. Yeah, I did. I did. But I, I had a couple of other things on my mind. I don't want to talk to anyone. Hi, Daryl. Look, I'm not asking, but Margaret's on the phone. Okay, I had something personal. I was just wondering if you'd heard from Fran. Yeah, well, there's really no need for you to come back. There's nothing that you can do, John. There's nothing anybody can do until I can get tested. Oh, that's what I need. Thanks. Hey, aren't you going to join me? No, uh, we're... On the wagon. On the wagon? Why? Ah, uh, staying in shape. The election coming up, you know. Yeah. So you can't have one beer? Come on. Has something happened since I saw you yesterday? You seem so well then. I'm fine. I... <clears throat> there is something I wanted to talk to you about, though. So... Uh, Higgins and I are working with the LAPD trying to locate this woman that Gavin claims he bought the white robe for. 
Why? Because I'm convinced that it's the same woman that Gavin hired to harass Dana. Now, if I can prove that, then I can prove to Franny that her suspicions of Daryl are wrong. Hello. Matter of fact, he's right here. It's Barbara. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Have you told Tom and Margot that Franny's on the way over to her house to check out the safe? No, of course not. Why? Daryl just called and said he can't make it over here. I've tried to call Franny and warn her, but she's not at her parents. Well, I'm sure that if Franny sees his car in the driveway, she's got the sense to clear out fast, but keep trying her and let me know what's happening, okay? Listen, guys, I gotta go pretty soon. Would you mind if I just went upstairs and just said hi to Adam since I'm not gonna see him for his birthday? You know what? He's, uh, <clears throat> he's not up there. He's, he's over at Lila's. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, well, be sure that you take a lot of pictures at his party for me, okay? You know, we hadn't even planned anything special. I mean, not yet, anyway. Oh? Hell. <clears throat> There's something wrong. Come here. Um... We don't want anyone else to know, but we think that you should know because you're Adam's father. I am. I know what's happening. This morning we found out that the man who raped me is HIV positive. <laughs> 